Hey dudes, CI here. So I wasn't sure what to do for my video this week, and as always, that means I go to my list. My list of video ideas. Recently, I had a good idea for like a theme. Top five lists. And I just started brainstorming things that you could do top five lists about. And it's just, you could make an endless list. There's endless things you could do top five of. And I think it's going to be super easy. So let's do that today. Let's just start. And um, I'll do top five authors. This was a little tough. It's tough. It's, I got a lifetime of reading, and there's a lot of great authors out there I wanted. But fortunately, I have something to help me. You remember that I've got this book. That's right, where it lists all the books I've ever read. And the ones that I really loved, I put stars next to. So that was an easy way to sort of go back and see, okay, what were the best books I've read in my life? And are there any common authors through that? Man, it's tough when you're making a list like this because you feel like you're, you know, you're, you're doing a, a disservice to the, some authors by not listing them. You feel bad, like you're, you're really offending them. But I got to do it, the rules are the rules, and I got to come up with top five. So here we go. Blake Nelson. He writes young young adult novels, and he's right here in Portland. He's so freaking good. I love him. Scott Westerfeld, also young adult, but also sci-fi. He might be even better than Blake Nelson. He's just so freaking good. Um, Orson Scott Card. He's gotten a little weird lately. He's become a little bit of a dickhead, and his writing seems to have gone downhill. But man, back in the day, could he write his ass off. And I loved so many of his early books. Orson Scott Card. Um, who's next? Stephen King. I'm not really a horror movie guy, so it seems weird that I would like horror books. But Stephen King is just so freaking creative, and he's had such a huge library, and I've read so many of them, and they always stand up. So yeah, congratulations, Stephen. You make the list. Number five. Last one. Ah, who am I going to include? Who am I going to leave off? This was so hard. I considered John Steinbeck, John Irving, Sherry Tepper... Dan Simmons, I considered J.K. Rowling, how could I leave her off? Kim Stanley Robinson, Lois Lowry, Rainbow Roll, <sighs> I wasn't sure who to go with, but in the end I went with the guy who's given me a few series that I really like, and just a lifetime of good, enjoyable books, Harry Harrison, congratulations, you are the last person on my top five authors. Now guys, I may come back to this top five list many times, and it may always be during a week that I'm not sure what else to do. If you guys want to jump on this idea, you are welcome. If you decide, hey, see, I made a top five list this week, I'm just going to follow it up and do the same damn thing. You can. Alice, if you want to give me your top five authors, let's hear it. Or not. Your call. <laughs> but that's my top five list. It was a little bit difficult to make because, you know, I don't want to offend those people who didn't make the list. Because, you know, of course, they're going to watch this and they're going to feel terrible. Yeah, well. That's it for me, guys. First try at a top five list. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week.